lock up their homes. Um, schools there have been affected and how they've been doing business. Um, it, it's really put this entire community down in South Carolina on lockdown. Here's a look at some of the things he's charged with right now. Murder, attempted murder, and then we found out mid last week also two additional counts of murder. That's for cases in St. Louis. Uh, this all came after a shootout with deputies last week there in South Carolina. Uh, the person he was with, the, police, the one police say was his accomplice, she was arrested in this case uh, and taken into custody at that point. But he spent the better part of the last week going through the woods in this rural part uh, of, of South Carolina. Um, and I know just from our own Billy Jean Shaw's reporting that he had evidently been homeless in the past and deputies actually think that's part of the reason and some of the way he actually uh, sort of managed to evade from uh, de deputies for so long because he knew how to. Again, just to repeat the breaking news of the hour right now, uh, Tyler Terry, after being on the run for the past week, has now been taken into custody. It seems like according from officers, uh, it, it was a peaceful exchange, uh, no shots fired by either party. Um, in, in this case, um, Terry himself is, is safe. Of course, there's a lot of questions we want to know uh, about how this happened, how he was taken into custody. Finally, what led to him? There were some concerns from deputies and investigators that the only way he was able to do this and, and uh, avoid police for so long is that he must have been getting help from someone. Well, th that, that was never discovered, discovered one way or the other. but. Um, plenty of questions about how he managed to do this for so long. Um, now, though, again, in the custody of Chester County deputies um, facing a long list of serious, serious charges um, once he is before a judge. Uh, again, uh, including murder charges. We do have Billie Jean Shaw. She is live right now on scene there in Chester County. She has been on top of the story since day one over a week ago. Billie Jean, what do you know? Hey there, good afternoon, Ben. Well, you just said the news. Tyler Terry is in custody. We're standing outside of the uh, setup area where law enforcement has been for the past week in front of Louisville High School. You can just tell this is just a joyous moment for them. They just found Terry in the woods just moments ago in the perimeter that they have been searching Highway 9 and Richburg Road. If you remember, he's been on the run for a week uh, today. Uh, he had been seen just two times, just two confirmed sightings this entire week. One on Wednesday night when he was attempting to to steal a utility truck from a local business. And then yesterday in broad daylight around 2.40, an officer spotted him near Legion Road. Uh, that officer chased him on foot for about a mile near Mount Ararat Church. And that's when Terry ran back into the woods. The officer was by himself, so he did not go all the way in the woods behind him for safety reasons. And that is when uh, officers just uh, surrounded that area and continued to search for him throughout the night. I just spoke to the spokesman for the Chester County Sheriff's Office. Where you're looking at right now, we want to keep the camera on this area because I'm told that Terry will actually be coming to this area first to be checked out by EMS. Uh, no shots were fired during this capture. Uh, Terry himself was not shot. He didn't shoot at officers is what uh, Chester County Sheriff's Office is saying. And again, this manhunt has been massive. It has been going on for more, uh, for a week, for a week now. And throughout the night, I mean, you have uh, multi multiple agencies, including from Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, all the way here down in Richburg, South Carolina, uh, coming to search for this 26 year old murder suspect who is accused of four murders, uh, expanding all the way to the Midwest in St. Louis, Missouri. We do know that uh, SLED has been here, that South Carolina State Police, FBI agents. I mean, it was all hands on deck. And the big question was how in the world is this man able to survive in the woods for a week? We asked police. Did they believe he was getting help? They said no. And so that left a lot of people wondering and on edge because one thing you have to understand about Richburg, it's a rural area. It is country. Uh, there is nothing but open fields. There's no city lights. There's no street lights. It's dark and you can basically hide anywhere. And that's what police were facing. I know a lot of people were wondering how can you have 300 plus officers out here and not catch this guy? But I mean, he had open space to hide. And we just learned within the last hour that Terry was homeless for a while. He was homeless and actually living in the woods. So while he was no expert uh, when it came to survival skills, he had the skills because he had been homeless 
Um, we're also learning from uh, Terry's family members that I just spoke to earlier this morning that he uh, does have some history of mental illness, so we're waiting to learn more about that. But right now, you are taking a live look outside of the setup area here in Bridgeburg, South Carolina. Tyler Donette Terry has been caught after a week on the run. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Billy Jean Charter, put him lockers there in Chester County. Uh, a community there that's now breathing a, a, a sigh of relief along with that law enforcement who've been working really around the clock to try to, to find this guy. And, and it bears repeating the, the charges, the serious charges he now faces, uh, murder, uh, attempted murder, two additional counts uh, of murder in St. Louis. Um, there's a long list of charges this man now, now is now facing. Um, we will have continuing coverage of this big breaking news of the hour. Tyler Terry now in custody after a week long manhunt. That's going to be coming up on WCNC Charlotte Midday. That's at 1130. To me. All right, let's get to some questions from your beautiful.